Welcome to another edition of the North Star Show here on Shaw Cable. I'm your host, Bradley Karp, and it's a special playoff edition of the North Star Show as the North Stars will be in the first round of the playoffs this weekend at home at the C.A. Nesbitt Arena, Friday, Saturday night games at 7.30. And we'll speak to head coach Dustin Levesque, do one minute with Drake Bodie, as well as a special interview with Captain Tanner Happ about the goals he set before the season started, his goals throughout the year, and how the season's been in general for the North Stars. Stay tuned. Here with head coach Dustin Levesque. Dustin, last weekend against the Kenora Thistles, a win and a loss, and you're playing them again this weekend. Friday night, a 5-3 win. How's that game? You know, it actually kind of both games had the same feel. Not not our best effort put forward, I didn't think. We uh, we played about 20 good minutes in the second period and uh, got those got out to that big lead going 5-1 into the third. So I was happy with the second period. The third, we took our foot off the gas. But then again, they had a defenseman in net and guys in penalty trouble. So both games, just dancing around the suspensions and the penalties, it kind of, both teams let up a little bit, I thought. Must have made things a little tougher for you to coach, that's for sure. Well, it was difficult because we had laying it in a little bit on Sunday or on Saturday. We had Tyrell in for Friday, but he was right on the cusp of being suspended. If he got suspended, it wouldn't have mattered. He just would have sat Saturday. But then if he would have got a five and a game, he would have got two games. So you're, you're limited with how aggressive you can be, and you never know what's going to be called. And on Saturday, it was a 4-3 shootout loss, an interesting situation in terms of goaltending. Yeah, for sure. We uh, we got a call late Saturday, Friday night from the Kenora team there, or from the league commissioner actually, saying that both the goaltenders were hurt, asking if there was anything we could do to uh, get a game going for Saturday night. So we made some calls, and uh, we got the Midget Double A's goalie, James McLean, and as you say, he, he played really well. He played a good game, he ended up getting a shootout win, so... I mean, I think we maybe took the team a little too lightly when they found out he was going to be in net, but you, you can never do that in this league. Offensive, deep defensive players of the week? Offensive. We're going to go with Tanner Hep for offensive this week. He, uh, he played really well on Saturday there, getting that breakaway goal and feeding James and Scott. Defensive will go Rick Frechette. Because he only played the one game, but he played well and he scored his first goal as an All-Star, so we'll give defensive to Rick. Great. Now this weekend, the Thistles, again, they're back here, home playoffs. Uh, how proud are you of these boys to have been able to bring that back here? Well, it's really positive that we're able to bring some uh, home playoff schemes back to Thompson here. So, and being Mun Cup weekend, we're even luckier. So we should have some big crowds. If you can get a good crowd out here that's into the game, it's, uh, it's always really beneficial to the players and helps motivate them and brings that energy. So hopefully with all the teams being in town, we can get a big northern support crowd out there and, and put on a good show for them. Now, do you know if they'll have either one of the regular goaltenders in the lineup for the weekend? We don't know for sure. I think Davy Fisher has a, a hamstring injury, and the Bulio he ended up, he was just back from concussion, and then he aggravated it some more again. So we don't know how we're gonna, what we're going to be facing. They may have to bring somebody up, but you got to be prepared for either one. I would expect Davy to play, to be honest. Hamstring or not, it's playoffs, and he's probably going to tough it out and was maybe just taking an extra week off to rest up. Now, you spoke a bit about Mon Cup. What are your Mon Cup memories? Oh, geez. Well, for one... We won it back in, I don't know, whenever I was second year Adam. We won the Mun Cup against Lynn Flon. I think it was 6-3, maybe 6-4. Uh, so that's one from playing. And the year before, I played for the Curly Aviation Arrows in Tier 4. So uh, that was another fun year we had. And coaching experience. I coached the Adam AA's with Ryan, actually. And uh, we ended up losing in the final to kind of a select team, a AAA team, because the Mun Cup was so late in the year but my son was actually born in the middle of the night, Sunday night before the Mun Cup final. My wife went into labor Saturday night pretty late, and so I was at the hospital till about six in the morning, then had to come back and coach the final for the Mun Cup. Some great Mun Cup memories for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you. No problem. Really has to be careful. Oh, and here oh. we come, it's Hep. Hep coming in on McLean. Hep shoots and he scores! Oh. And we're here with Captain Tanner Hep. Tanner, I remember you sitting in my office at the radio station a couple of months ago, early on in the season, um, for 
time out with the North Stars, and you told me one of your goals for the year was to bring playoffs back to Thompson. You've done that. How does it feel? Uh, well, that being the goal at the beginning of the year, and I was pretty vocal when people asked me about that, it always feels good to accomplish your goals, so pretty good. What is it about this group of guys that was able to get it done? Uh, I'd say last year we had a very strong team as well, but we seemed like we had a three or four key players we really relied upon, whereas this we can roll the bench some games and just completely comfortable matching lines with anyone, so that's probably what I think it is. Now what's your role going to be this weekend against Kenora in the first round of the playoffs? Well, Kenora had a pretty good power play this weekend, so tight penalty killing, that'll be it. And uh, if I get chances, i got to put them in the net too because they can score as well, so we want to get ahead quick. Season as a whole, how's it been for you? I'm pretty happy with how it went in general. Uh, set some goals at the beginning of the season for myself. One, getting uh, 27 points on the season, and I ended up getting uh, 10 more than that, so that's always good. And what do you contribute to your, your success in terms of points? Uh, I put in, uh, I don't know, good line mates probably. Played with Eddie a lot. He gave me a lot of nice passes. Gave him, he's pretty reliable to put the puck in the net, so I just give it to him, he puts it in for me. And play with some other guys too that really good with worked well with me. Spreading around the love, I guess. Yeah. Um, this weekend you're playing the Kenora Thistles. You played them last weekend. How do you guys have to play this team? I know I've heard it from Dustin, but how do the players think they have to be played? Well, intensity first of all, playoffs at home. So uh, come out, make some good hits at the beginning, get everyone going, and then pretty much just roll from there, throw pucks on net. Now, people who don't know your role on the team, you have points you put points up on the board you're not the leading scorer but you do score on a, at a regular clip but you also lay the body you block shots you do a bit of everything um is that something that you pride yourself on oh uh, yeah definitely playing a uh, two-way forward kind of thing i'm not it's nice to put the puck in the net but it's also i think make a big hit get everyone going block some shots on the penalty kill too contribute and yeah so yeah great thank you and uh, i have to say congratulations yeah thanks a lot Now one minute with forward Drake. Bodie, Drake, how's the season been so far? Uh, it's been okay for us. I mean, we've had our, our ups and downs. We've competed with some of the top teams, and we've, for example, we beat the Thrashers here on home ice, but we've also blew some games early on that really have costed us for maybe the second round for playoffs here. So. Now, what does it mean to the team to be able to bring playoffs back home to Thompson? Well, it doesn't happen very often for us. I mean, usually we're playing on the road the whole time, and... We have uh, first round here, Mun Cup weekend, so we're hoping to bring a big crowd and hopefully that makes a difference. Now, speaking of Mun Cup, I hear you were part of the last team to win the Mun Cup tournament from Thompson. What are some of your Mun Cup memories? Um, I mean, I played, uh, my first year I played just Adam A and we had a really good season. I mean, there's a couple other players on the team that I played with growing up and and then second year, Adam, we were hosting Mun Cup. I mean, we didn't do pretty good in provincials, but we peaked at the right time. And I mean, that was our big tournament for that year growing up. Are you ready for the questions? Sure. Paul, you ready? OK. Who's your, the goofiest teammate on the team? Probably Jordy, okay. hands down. And who's the most concentrated before a game? Pollock, Justin Pollock, for sure. Who's the worst to sit next to on the road? On the road. Uh, I don't know, that's a tough one. Um, uh, whether they're smelly, annoying, either one. Lodi. Lodi? Lodi. <laughs> is it because he pops his collar? Huh? Is it because he pops his collar? No, it's not because of the pop collar, it's just lots of times he doesn't let you sleep. <laughs> uh, Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Apple or Blackberry? Apple. PC or Mac? PC. And what is your favorite celebration when you score a goal? Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, obviously, you try to work up a big celebration for a game, but it doesn't usually happen. So just go into the huddle and celebrate with the boys. Pre-game meal? Pasta. Post-game? Uh, pizza. Favorite road barn? What's that? Favorite road barn? Road barn. Uh, probably... The ice Plex. Great, thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I want to thank head coach Dustin Levesque for taking some time out of practice, as well as forwards Drake Bodie and Captain Tanner Hep 
who, who took some time to talk with us today about his goals for the season and how he thinks the season has gone by. And I want to encourage everyone to come out and support the North Stars for their playoff joy. Friday, Saturday night games at 7.30 here at the C.A. Nesbitt Arena, both of them against the Kenora Thistles. And remember, Sunday at 1 o'clock, if necessary, if after the two games, it's a split 1-1. One, one. Mud Cup all weekend. Everyone in the North knows what Mud Cup's about. Great tradition, over 40 years of Mud Cup tournament history here in Thompson. And go out, great weekend of hockey up here in the North. I want to encourage everyone to show up and support all the teams participating. And most of all, I want to thank you all for watching.